I'm going to start working from top view. So inside the view panel, click this drop down arrow and select top and work on parallel projection. So click this drop down arrow and select parallel. Type C for circle, enter, specify center point of circle, click anywhere, type D for diameter option and enter 120. I'm gonna create the hexagon. So inside the draw panel, click polygon, And enter the number of sides, so enter 6, enter, and specify center point of polygon. Click the center of the circle, circumscribe about circle, and just click that uh, quadrant. Bring this drawing to southwest isometric. And I'm going to extrude this hexagon. So inside the modeling panel, click this drop down arrow and select extrude upward for 50 millimeters. The units we're using is in millimeters, by the way. I'm just going to change this to X-ray. All right. Now I'm going to draw another circle on the face here. Uh, before we proceed, go down to the status bar and make sure to turn on your dynamic input. Polar tracking, object snap tracking, object snap, selection cycling, 3D object snap, and dynamic UCS. I'm just going to turn off the grid. It bothers me. Anyway, type C for circle. Look at center. You see that blue color. And just snap that um, midpoint here. Select that circle and inside the modeling panel, select extrude command. Bring your cursor downward and go down to the command window and check this uh, taper angle. And enter minus 45 because we're going downward. Minus 45. Enter. And enter again. Now inside the solid editing panel, select intersect. Just window the whole thing. I'm going to change this to X-ray again. So select that circle. Move it upward, right click move specify base point you can click anywhere move your cursor upward for 10 units i'm gonna show you so this is the one here now select that circle and go back to the ribbon inside the modeling panel Select Extrude Command, bring your cursor downward, and inside the Command Prompt, select Taper Angle, and enter minus 70. Enter, and specify height of extrusion. You can read this one here. Enter 10. which is from this point to this point. All right. I'm going to change this to shaded with edges. Now I'm going to combine the drawing. So use union command inside the solid editing panel. Union and just window the whole thing. Now this is one object. I'm going to extrude this face for five units as shown here. So use press pull command inside the modeling panel. Hover over this face, left click, let go of your finger. Just bring your mouse down for five units. 
I'm going to poke a hole through this face. And the diameter of the, or the inside diameter of the hole is 120. So C for circle. Look at center. Once you see that uh, blue color here, the cross, click. Type D for diameter option and enter. It's not 120. It is, wait. It is 70. All right. So C for circle. Snap that center. Type D for diameter option and enter 70. Now I'm going to extrude this circle all the way down and inside the solid editing panel, select subtract command. Click the object you want to keep, right click and select the object you want to subtract. I'm going to draw another circle from the center. Or you don't have to do that. You can go directly, apply. So inside the draw panel, click this drop down arrow and select helix. Shift right click. Click the center, snap that quadrant, and specify top radius, snap that quadrant again, and um, it's asking for turn height, which is the pitch, so click that, and enter 10, enter, and it's asking again for the specify helix height, Enter 70. I'm going to apply chamfer first on the edges of the hole. And here is the detail. 7.8 that way and 4.5 for the X. 7.8 uh, 7 and for the Y is 4.5. So go to solid, click this drop down arrow and select chamfer edge. Click distance and the first distance is 7.8, enter. And the second distance, see it's asking specify second distance, enter 4.5. Click this edge, right click and enter again. And apply chamfer edge here too. First distance, 7.8, enter. And second distance is uh, 4.5, enter. And click this edge. All right. I'm going to hide this one first. So select the object. Right click, hover over isolate, and hide object. I'm going to concentrate on creating a triangle, which is this one here. So bring your drawing to front view. Draw a line. So L for line command. Click anywhere here. Bring your cursor upward for 9 units, which is this one here. And draw a line from in point nine units. L for line from midpoint. Bring it here any size matter. Circle. Click this in point and snap that in point here. Now draw a line from this in point to that intersection. See, it's 9, so it's equal. I can always use um, a line, then enter the angle, but this one is cool. Anyway, delete that, 
delete this one, delete this one. I'm gonna check, it's nine. This one is nine. Now apply fillet. So inside the body five panel, select fillet edge, not fillet edge, just fillet. Click this line and this line. Join the segment. So type J for join command. Right click, enter, and just window the whole thing. Now this is one object. I'm gonna draw a circle inside. So click inside the draw panel, click this drop down arrow and select the circle with tangent, tangent, tangent options. Hover over here. Just you can see the tangent symbol. Click here, click and click here all right now i'm gonna move these objects move from the center of the circle to the end point i'm gonna change this to polar tracking to the end point of that uh, helix shift right click and select end point let me check yeah all right now i'm gonna use so click this drop down arrow inside the modeling panel and use sweep command select the object you want to sweep right click enter and select sweep path so select that one so that's the path it's gonna take a while there you go That looks good. Now I'm gonna bring back the hidden object. So right click, hover over isolate, and select an object. Now inside the solid editing panels, select subtract command. Click the object you wanna keep, right click, and select the object that uh, you want to subtract, which is the helix. I'm gonna delete that. I'm just gonna copy this one. Top view. Maybe here. Go to solid. I'm gonna slice this object here. From the middle. Click here and specify a point of desired side. I'm going to select that side. I'm going to change this to realistic. I'm going to apply materials. So type materials. Select metal. I'm going to use maybe machine. Click this arrow here. And just grab this one here. Apply it here. Close. Go to visualize. Click this uh, drop down arrow. Adjust exposure setting. And I think we are done. Thanks for watching. And please don't forget to subscribe and hit that uh, bell icon to get notified for the next tutorial. And see you again.